Hello my friends. Um, this is something that I've wanted to do for a while and I waited until I downsized, purged, started to use up some things and such before I took the numbers again. Um, I did this, I believe it was last year. And this is my updated has of August 2015 makeup inventory. Now I'm just going to read off the file that I created this morning. I'm not going to show you the items because you probably know what they look like already. But um, I'm just kind of going to discuss and such. So start with facial sprays. I only have one right now and it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray in a full size. Really happy. I have one. I feel like that's good. Once I realize that I'm getting towards the end, then I'll decide on which one I want to try um, next. So I take quite a bit of time to get through those. I do use a lot of setting spray because I really pack it on, especially like I'll spray squirt, squirt, and then I'll go one, two, three here, and then, you know, one around my rest of my face. So I think I probably use double the amount of a normal person, but it still takes me a while. I have three primers. They're all different kind of primers. I They're all Benefit, and I got all of them in... The beauty square kit so i have the that girl brightening facial primer i have the stay don't Stray eye slash concealer primer and i've been using that has sorry this eye is so watery i just put stuff in it um i've been using it as an eye primer and i did back in the day when i had another one like this and it works really nice and also um i have benefit professional primer I have one powder. I don't really use powders. Um, I don't have oily skin, nor do I use a lot of liquid foundation. So I just have the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, a full size. Um, three foundations. I have Bare Minerals uh, Tan, Bare Minerals uh, min Medium Beige, which is that small Sephora 100 point perk kind of thing, and also a L'Oreal Visible Lift Cream Foundation, full size. I have two blushes. Is that right? I thought I had three. Anyways, I have the Benefit Bella Bomba, the Deluxe Sample. I have the Elf Contouring Blush Bronzer Duo. And I just have the blush part left and about half of that. I have three bronzers. Two are the Hula Bronzer. One I have in a project pan, so I bolded that. One is a brand new Hula Bronzer. And then I have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess in a deluxe size sample. Going after I finally finish this Benefit Hula, I'm going to use that Tarte one. Everyone says they love it, and I want to see what the hype is. And it's also only about like this much. I feel like I'm going to be able to get through it a lot faster. I have two highlighters. The, both are from the Beauty Score Kit that I just posted a haul of like a week and a half ago. The Benefit Ola Lift, which I'm actually wearing, and also Benefit High Beam. I have two eyebrow products. I have an NYC eyebrow kit, which is what I'm wearing today and what I've been using for months and months and months. And I also have the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. That's it. I don't have my beloved Maybelline Define a Brow anymore. Um, I also don't, you know, I haven't tried Anastasia, Brow Wiz, or any of those things. Those are things that I will try, um, probably purchase once I work through these two brow products. But as you know, brow products take a while to use, so um, that won't be for any time soon. One concealer palette, it's all I have, and it's all I need. It has four shades in it. It's the e.l.f. Complete Concealer, Complete Coverage Concealer Palette. Right now, I'm using the darkest shade. They're very creamy. It's very nice. I think it was $6 for the palette. It's something I purchased for my birthday in June, and I absolutely, absolutely recommend and love it. I have 11 eyeliners. And I actually got rid of three. One of them is in my project pan, and a little spoiler, it's almost done. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Pencil and Demolition. I'm also almost done with the Urban Decay 24-7 Pencil and Zero, which is black. And the Kat Von D liner, the blue bluish purple one that I mentioned in my project pan, uh, use it up. I also have six more Urban Decay liners in LSD, Ransom, Perversion, Black Velvet, Vice, and Voodoo. I have a Kat Von D Autograph Eyeliner Pencil in black, and also a Buxom Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil. 
I have six mascaras, two of which I'm using currently, the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara and the Benefit Their Real Mascara, which is a deluxe sample size. Then I have another Urban Decay Perversion, my beloved Perversion deluxe sample size. And I have three full sizes in my backups. The Revlon Photo Ready 3D Mascara, the Pacifica Stellar Gaze Mascara, and the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. In terms of eyeshadows, I have two trios, which are both Wet n Wild trios, Walking on Eggshells, which is something I'm trying to finish up again for the third time, and also Sweet as Candy. I have one single e.l.f. long-lasting lustrous eyeshadow, and it's a gold color. I have one, I don't even use it, but it's one of those nostalgic things, Jane Eyeshadows and Surfer Girl, which is a bright blue. I have a single NYC Sparkle Eye Dust in Golden Champagne, and also just got today a single Pacifica Eyeshadow in Ethereal. I also have seven MAC Pigment samples, which are mostly all purples and pinks. Really need to work through those. A lot of them don't have much uh, there, and instead of doing this neutral look every day, I think that I'm going to try to commit to doing at least one or two days. Um, I typically wear makeup about five days a week, I'd say sometimes six um, and I'm gonna try to commit to maybe two days out of the five or the six that I incorporate some color and use those pigment samples I have four palettes three are Urban Decay obviously Urban Decay Naked palette I have the ammo palette and I have the Book of Shadows four or six uh, it's the one that you pulled out the drawer and it had like all the Wonderland fairy I think it was during the Alice in Wonderland time and then I have an Ulta Holiday Palette, which I love. Um, the last two are Depotted. I have them not in the palettes anymore. I have six lipsticks plus a lipstick palette. As you will be able to tell, I'm not a huge lipstick girl. And four of those are MAC lipsticks. One is in Her Fancy, which is in my project finished by by fall. I have Pretty Please MAC Lipstick, Strayan MAC Lipstick, a Viva Glam 4 MAC Lipstick, an Elf Matte Lip Color and Coral, and a NARS Lipstick Crayon, and also a MAC Holiday Lipstick Palette. I have five lip balms, EOS Lemon Lip Balm, two baby lips, one in Pink Punch, one in Pink Shock. I have a NYX Lip Butter, brand new, have it open, a MAC Tender Tone in Pucker, and a Wet n Wild Lip Shimmer, which is like a dupe for the Burst Bees. I have 13 lip glosses, um, one's in my Project Pan, which is the e.l.f. Hyper Shine Lip Gloss in Pink Pop. I have a MAC Mini Lip Glass in Pink Poodle, a MAC Lip Glass in Nice Kitty. I have, where in the heck, I'm just realizing, is my beloved Dazzle Glass in Sugar Rimmed. Somebody stole that. I think my girl stole that from me. Because that's my favorite, and I used to have two of them, and now I'm realizing, like, it's gone. Uh, it's completely gone. It's my favorite. I'm going to have to buy it. I don't care if I have all these to use. That's my favorite lip gloss, and I just realized now that it's missing. Ugh. Makeup girl problems. <sighs> I have the Philosophy Cinnamon Buns lip gloss, two Essence Triple XL Shines in Bright Side of Life and Dazzle Glow. A Revlon Ultra HD Lip Lacquer and Petalite, two Beauty Rush lip glosses in Slice of Heaven and Cupquake, two CO Bigelow Mentha Simmer Tints in Pearl Mint and Bare Mint, and two MAC Lip Jellies in Amber Rust and She Boom. And then, <coughs> I'm sorry, that was a lot. I only have 14 nail polishes. All I do is paint my toes. I do not paint my nails. I type all day long. And nothing I use ever prevents my nails from chipping. So I have four minis. One is Essie, three are OPI, and ten full sizes. Three OPIs, three sinful colors, two Sally Hansons, one NCLA, and one Jula polish. Woo! I did that in nine minutes. <laughs> so honestly, I'm sure a lot of you are like, wow, that's pretty good, Jess. I've really worked through things. And, um... So in terms of looking at this, you know, I probably could use another blush. Um, I, I probably could. I mean, honestly, um, I could get a high-end eyebrow product. I haven't used one. I, you know, the concealer palette is fine for me. I really don't need concealers, but I've been really wanting to try that Age Rewind concealer. So maybe that's something. I cannot buy any eyeliners. There's no need for me to buy any mascaras. If I can get the perversion, 
um, mascara on Edith. I'm going to because I love the perversion. And all I have is a deluxe sample size and I went through like four of them. Um, in terms of eyeshadows, I could use some more because a lot of this stuff is pinks or neutrals. So if I wanted some color or maybe like greens or blues or something a little bit different, I could really try to get stuff like that. Lipsticks, I don't think I need any. Lip glosses, lip balms, I don't need any of that stuff. I really don't. And nail polishes, of course, I'm not. So as you can see, I don't really need to buy makeup. And as you usually see in my hauls, I don't buy makeup. Um, I just buy skincare, body care kind of stuff. Um, I chose not to do the skincare and the body care inventory because that changes so quickly. I go through so many empties every week. I'm constantly using this. It doesn't work. I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to, whatever. So I just chose not to do that. I have done that in the past and the inventory changed so often that there was no need for it. So I don't know how often I'm going to update you on this. Um, I actually finished a product today since I <laughs> did this inventory. So I just did a strike through on my list. So it's like I crossed it out. Uh, so I mean, I do have something that I can update you guys with, but I want to start using things, realize if I like them get them the heck out if I don't and cross them off this list. So let's start using our stuff. I hope I inspire you just to take the time just to go through your items. You'll also rediscover things. And I pulled a lot of the stuff that I mentioned in this. I pulled and put into a little Ipsy bag of stuff that I want to use kind of like next or soon. And I can just go in there and start pulling things out as I finish things in my everyday makeup bag. So hope you guys incorporate this into your routine. And I will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.